his head? Oh, dude, it just said it just said murder. And he, he drove a spike in his head. Can you turn off the flashlight? On the count of three. Oh. Thank you. This is a. Uh, oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh. Look at that. Thank you. And we heard the loudest bang. We have no idea where the hell it came from. Well, I literally felt as if somebody was breathing down my neck for a second there. Is it the shadow man? Is he calling us outside? What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new haunted adventure. Uh, I just drove five and a half hours to get here um, because I think it was yesterday or the day before, Elliot decided to tell me, hey, we're going back to Lauren Yale Jail if you wanna come and Jeff is gonna be here. So I'm here and Jeff is here too. Hi, Hello. Jeff. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch of us um, basically just gonna be investigating the whole night. I don't, I can't really stay the entire night. How long are you guys staying here till? Around well, midnight? Okay, so yeah, I was actually planning on leaving around that time simply because I got a five and a half hour drive and I got a show to film tomorrow for the podcast. Um, but yeah, a little bit of a history. I'll actually get Elliot to give you guys the quick version of it since I've already been here two times. If you want to see the full history, go back to the very first video and I'll link that down in the description below. Um, like I mentioned, we're doing a lot of stuff on the podcast as well, so we need your support, so definitely go and subscribe to that. I'll leave the link in the description for that as well and probably in a pinned comment. And uh, go and follow everybody here, um, especially Elliot, because Elliot, how far are you from a thousand subscribers? Well, I think we got like 30, I think. I think we, we need, need 30. 30 to go. 30. Okay, so we need like, 1,000 of you to go and subscribe to Elliot's channel. 1,000 to go and subscribe to Exploring Harley. Thank you. And uh, Eric is also with us, and he's basically your I'm with essentially Elliot. Elliot's partner. Um, not gay partner because Elliot's <laughs> married, but you know, partner yeah, on his other, channel. I mean, right? I mean, honestly, if, if I like men, I think we would be. But uh, yeah, so. That's just me. So, first things first, we literally started off in here and we've been having this REM pod going crazy for some reason. There you go, see? It just goes off for no reason whatsoever. And then we tell it to stop and it stops. Can you make that go off again? Flashlight is on. Is it? Yep. There's stuff everywhere here. This is crazy. Yeah, there's literally so everywhere. devices everywhere. We got that thing, we got that orange. Home Depot looking box. I got my other Home Depot box. Uh, I got a couple EMF meters, which have already been going off, kind of. Um, this what? one is supposed to, to stay on. Oh, it turned off? Yeah. Oh. Interesting. So, um, yeah, I guess maybe if you want to give us like the three minute version of the. Uh, yeah, no, we can definitely do the very fast history. So guys, this off. is the oldest jail in Ontario, 1825. It predates the Kingston Pen. Now, this is also the only Francophone jail in Ontario as well. So we had both the English and the French here. There were five executions that took place here. And these men died for, you know, crimes ranging from axe murders to the rape and murder of children to murder for fraud. So there's quite a variety of criminals that died here and three of them are in fact buried in the courtyard where the shadow man is seen. Mm -hmm. Most notorious is Petite Ruth who was the governor's daughter who died here and she had dwarfism and she stood about this high. And she's kind of considered the angel of the jail. Mm -hmm. And she's seen as a little shadow that kind of scurries around and she likes to follow you around and listen to see what you're doing. And if you listen, you can hear her sing or skip around the jail or go up and down the stairs because her residence was attached to the jail. As with most jails, the governor's residence um, was here and they lived here. Um, the shadow man in the backyard is one you got to look for. It's been seen by inmates over a three decade period. We had a court interpreter who we interviewed who, you know, heard these stories from the inmates themselves and big, big shadow around my size. And we caught a great EVP here of uh, a male voice singing, I am a shadow after one of our guests at a paranormal events um, seen it. Yeah, that's so creepy. That's something definitely to look out for. Um, other than that, that's your three minute history. Nice. A really old jail. Yeah, so. Got a lot going on here. Um, every other time that I've come here, we've always caught really, really good stuff and always something different too. So hopefully we get lucky again and uh, also have a good time. Oh, and mm. you seem to like that, that thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Can you uh, make that thing go off once more for us? Maybe it's Ruth. But it's Ruth, is it you? Can you touch that red light, please? I think if it's anybody, it's the young man who took his life in that cell next to you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. So He's we got, the one that uh, seems to like to interact with Oracle. Yeah. And, uh, Specifically in this block, Yeah, right? so when Eric and I were here, um, Eric was going inside, and we said, you want him out, and it would start going. Then it would mm -hmm. stop when he was out, and then when he'd go back in, it would start going again. Hmm. Um, so hmm. I don't think he likes men inside of his cell. But then we had a woman go in, and there was no issues with that at, mm -hmm. at all. So that was very interesting. So definitely sit inside there. Yeah. And see what you pick up on. Is it? Oh, oh yeah, you can just go in, right? Sweet. Hey, look, a sledgehammer. <laughs> what, are you going to lock me in here? Or what? Do you want to make your clothes? Huh? Give me, clothes give me the, um, hang on, let me grab something here. Good, uh, Just grab this thing. Thank you. Probably need that. Oh. Now you can close it. <laughs> Thank you. Move away, please. Thank you. You're not keeping the curtain. Huh? I don't know. He moved the curtain. I don't know why. Wait, which one was that? I can't protect you. Did the other rem my REM pod go off? Yes, I heard. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's in the other cell. It's in the other cell. Yeah, in the cell. Uh, I right think here. right next to that one. Yeah. Oh yeah, right here. Yeah. So Is that it just. You? Can you touch that red light again, please? Let's get library Can you going touch that here. Red light right here in the cell? Just to show me that you're here. Oh yeah, I didn't introduce myself. My name is Jeff. I'm a veteran. And yes, I'm French Canadian. I'm Québécois. Let what did that say? No. Let people know. What do you want us to let people know? And I'm French Canadian. Tabernac. Tabernac. <laughs> Colis. Le Grand New M. Le Pomplamous. <laughs> That's about as far as my French goes. <laughs> Je peux aller à la toilette? <laughs> <laughs> my EMF reader here is still. Jenny. Jenny. Look at that, guys. And oh. there's no electricity. <sighs> I moved that, but I'm getting some like weird scan on this thingy. Let's turn this up and see what happens. Super duper new. Uh, it's the Home Depot box. The Home Depot. Box. <laughs> it's the Start Finder. The Start Finder per, yeah, per it's, excellence. It's getting something. Like the the line is changing. Which oh. if there's nothing going on, it wouldn't show anything. Now it's kind of just whatever, but... Can you talk into the box near my friend? What was the guy's name? Francois? Yeah, I think so. Shelly. Shelly. Jenny and Shelly. Do you have a message for Jenny and Shelly? See if we can get anything off no, of this. Just turn on. If you turn on that light, can you turn it off, please? Okay. Can you turn off the flashlight? I would, that would be much appreciated. Just take your energy oh. out, please. Let's see if we get any significant words. Cake highway cell. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Pine. Pine. It the wasn't... flashlight just turned off on command. Oh, yeah? Yeah. New York. Oh, yeah, we're, like, pretty close to New York. Secret. Western. No, this is the east, not west. Are this you from the secret. west? What is secret? Doubt. Doubt. Her. Let's slow this down a bit. Can. Glove. Any. 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 Counter. Counter. I just had two names. Miles. Shelley and... Shelly and Jenny. Phantom. I just had Phantom. Hmm. 
Homicide. Homicide. Flashlight. <laughs> oh, really? Flashlight turned on when you said homicide. Sad. Flashlight turned it, on. It just said sad as well. Porsche. Didn't the guy who was he, in he the cell... He, he, he stabbed himself in the brain. But, but what did he do? He... Didn't he commit he, homicide? Yeah, yeah, he was yeah, a murderer, but right? He, he killed himself. Yeah. Late. Himself. late. It is getting kind of late. My head. Murder. His head? Oh, he dude! It just said. It just said murder. Edna. And he, he drove a spike in his head. Edna. It gave us a name. Bishop. Bishop. Ah, what was the name of the guy again? Eat. Eat. I'm pretty sure his name was Francois. No, Francois Montancy, that's a, that's a comedian. Oh, and okay. He came here for a, a so you're not sure who, what his, is, where's Elliot? He probably left, right? Yeah, I think he went upstairs. Oh, okay. That's crazy. So is that, it just said statement. It, was that your part of your statement that you murdered someone? You committed homicide? I'm pretty sure that's what he was in here for. And it's yeah. crazy how it gave me the, the answer twice. Two different ways, homicide and murder. Hmm. And then, then what? You got anything else to say? It said Jimmy, but nothing came out. Jimmy, but nothing came out. No? We, the word Jimmy came on, but... Oh, it didn't say anything? No word came out of the... That's weird. Do you uh, not like me in your cell? Do you want me to stay in here, or you want me to leave? Like the fact that my friend is in your cell, and that rent button went quiet. Mm. Oh yeah, that's right. That thing was going crazy. That, that, that thing was going haywire. Yeah. Nothing. Hmm. I it's put a box right there in the shower. Can you go and touch it, please? Flashlight. Thank you. Oh, so this has been going on and off. Yeah. Let's see. So right now it's on. Can you try to turn it off, please? Ooh, there you go. I'm getting something. Thank you. Can, Can you, you turn, turn off? off the flashlight? On the count of three? Oh. Thank you. This is, uh, oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. oh, look at that. Thank you. Wow. Now, if the person who said they committed a murder, if that was them in this cell, can you turn this light back on? What the hell was that? I got my click. Yeah, I heard that too. <gasps> what the hell was that? That was the musical box right there on the ground. My, oh. my tablet. What did it do? The music you heard, that was it. What, what does that mean though? I don't know what that means. It, uh, uh, I didn't saw w which sensor it triggered. Yeah. So William, it's... but it went, it triggered like EMF pressure, gyroscope movement or compass. You, oh, okay. you hear that music? Yeah, I heard it. Yeah. So probably he, he he went for a. Can you go for that box again, please? While we watch, which of the sensor you you touch? It said yes on your thing. Right there. Yes. Okay. Can you touch that box, please? Just to show us that you're with us. So that's why that went off is because something yeah. would have touched it. Yeah. Oh wow. So I have to ask, why does it say hero? Because <laughs> it's kind of making me want some... I'm in some... the corner. I'm in the corner. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the, the cool. Off. Yeah, Thank I got, you. I got an idea. Let's, what if we turn this music box right there. in that direction? So if you're in the corner... Thank you, flashlight. Can you go for the box in the shower, please? Just to show us that you're here with us. Trace us, well, we're not. Thank you. This is gonna go off it all over here. Okay, that's it. Yeah, but that was not me. No. I'm not close enough to... Like go off, it'd have to be on literally like right really on top close. of it, yeah. Oh, that wasn't you. No, it worked back enough when it when it went off. I don't know. 
Maybe, maybe not. Can you walk in front of that device again, please? It was weird. For like a second, I thought somebody was like standing behind me. Can you walk in front of that light, please, again? You told us that you were in the corner. Hmm, that's cool. Yeah, definitely gotta ask uh, Elliot about like the prisoner from this specific cell because I want to know what they were in for. I know it was him for murder, but he 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 killed. He kind of beat the uh, it's gallon. unpleasant here. It's unpleasant. It's un unpleasant here. Yes, it is. It is a jail. So yes, it's not. I imagine it would have been very unpleasant. Unfortunately, it's not a, a club med. It's not a. Vacation. No, it's definitely not. This is not. Uh, it's not Punta Cana. No. Hmm. Can you move away? And go here. You notice that thing went Good off. Good and evil here. Okay, so you notice that, like, <laughs> as soon as I pulled this thing wide open, it did that. Yep. What was the name of the guy again that stuck it? I don't know. I have to say it. Oh. Oh, you mean the guy with the skull? The guy who's standing something the... Joseph Menard. Joseph Menard? Joseph Menard. I didn't put that in your three minute history. That's fine. Um, but he murdered somebody or multiple people, yeah, right? Yeah, so Joseph Menard, he uh, yeah. took oh. his wife's head off with an axe. Good lord. And uh, he did it in front of his child. Yeah. And then he took the axe upon himself. Yeah. Big gash. That didn't work. Started stabbing himself in the neck. Oh my god. That didn't work. He recovered. They brought him here to await transfer to Rockwood Asylum. Um, oh yeah, before going to the asylum. Before going to the asylum, but he still had a hole in his skull, so they didn't like put a plate on it. Yeah. Went to the window, managed to get a shard of metal, and inserted it into his brain. Ah. Oh. And he ended his life. Here. What the oh, hell? Oh, is that you? Oh. Thank you. Well, there you go. There's your answer. Electric shock. Electric shock. Do you want to give us electric shocks? It's interesting, is at Rockwood Asylum, they would have done electric, electric shock, shock right? Oh, yeah. electric shock therapy. So this was right around 19, early early 20th century. So mm -hmm. they would have been Were you around afraid of stuff. getting electric shock therapy? Oh. Maybe. Oh. Or maybe they wanted electric shock yeah. therapy. Well, he was there prior to doing this. Flashlight. This is why he did that to his wife. Oh. Because his co-workers and his wife put him in Rockwood because he oh, was wow. acting yeah, weird, he was and then he got back out, and he was pissed off about it. Yeah. Joseph Menard, if, it, if it's see. you, can you go for that box in the shower, please? Just go near it, please. Do you remember Rockwood Asylum? I have friends who've been in there. They stayed overnight, and they may have heard somebody's footsteps coming towards them. Were you afraid of going into that asylum? Here, let's see if this happens again. For some reason, when I open this door, that thing goes off. And now nothing. Nothing. Joseph Menal, if it's you, can you go for that box in the, in the shower, please? Walker. Walker. Also, ladies, I'd like to point out how sexy Jeff's accent is, <laughs> if you're interested. <laughs> the 60 frame checks. <laughs> Very romantic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got murder and homicide on that. Yeah, and murder. Which twice. is interesting because like I didn't even remember that. Can you do you want to say something else? What if we switch this to alphabet mode? Well, I'm going to switch this to alphabet mode. You can choose letters if you want to spell something out instead. Joseph Minal, are you still here with us, please? It's very interesting. I reminisce here. Quiet now. Yeah. I reminisce here. I reminisce here. What are you reminiscing about?
Joseph Menard, if it was you that opened up that flashlight, can you turn it off, please? Turn it off, all the way. Come on. Nicola. Come on, Joseph. Thank what you. Did you say? Nicola. Oh, of course, that's my grandfather's name. Oh, seriously? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey. Hey. Remember I told you that Joseph Menard, um, he hated Clement Gayet, and he did not want to be in the same jail oh, as yeah. Clement Gayet. So maybe Clement's around right now, and mm. that's why you're not getting the interaction anymore. Mm. Maybe. Clement Gayet, are you here with us? Can you go for that red light on the ground? Or maybe make something else go off? Oh, we got something. Thank you. Oh, there it is again. So, Clement, is that, is that you? Are you hungry? Is anybody here hungry? Want some food? Maybe some drinks? Chow time. Anybody hungry? Would you like some cognac? <laughs> Joseph Menal, are you gone because Clement Goyette is here? Can you turn on the flashlight? Cool. If it's because Clement Goyette is here that you're gone? Alright, well that's a good start, I guess. Or Clement Goyette, can you turn on the flashlight? I'll probably go check out a different area. It's like that, it comes in waves. Yeah, it comes in little, little bursts, but there's a lot of areas to cover, so... Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so uh, we're going to continue on. We split off for a little bit. Um, I'll probably go upstairs and see what Jeff is doing, because he's currently on death row. Uh, which is a very very spooky area and uh, yeah a lot of spirits like to hang out in that area but I'm gonna kind of roam around by myself for a little bit and just see if we can pick up on anything maybe any weird subtle sounds uh, there is one particular area that I remember was uh, crazy so okay so we got this cell block here I remember this one I am fond of this yeah I'll tell you guys why in a second some of you guys may remember Got another one here. They're all pretty creepy. We even got a little uh, pee and poo pot over there. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, what I remember is we were in here one time. This was a long time ago. And I think we were all sitting here, it was Mo, Rennie, and myself, and we heard the loudest bang. We have no idea where the hell it came from. Whoa. What the hell? It did not even move that door. It's just like swinging on its own. Maybe it was just the momentum from closing and then reopening. I have no idea, but if there's somebody here, can you maybe close that cell door for me? That was just me putting my light down. I remember one time we were in here and you made the loudest frickin' bang ever. Can you do it again? Anything at all would be appreciated. It's like I can't even figure out what the hell that noise was unless something like hit that. It was a long time ago. I'm pretty sure this was the cell. It must have been. There's a bunch of random stuff in here now. Looks like Easter stuff. Okay. Is there anybody in here with me? Anybody want to make themselves known? was that? First I thought I heard like faint footsteps out there and I heard something like scratching something. The f I don't know where that came from. Oh. 
Jeff must be getting something up there. Yeah, I think the cell door just swings open and close sometimes. Okay, who made that noise? I heard that. Were you in this cell that made that noise? Cameron must have picked it up. It sounded like somebody like, I don't know, maybe hit one of these or something. Are you taking a nap in uh, this cell? Can you maybe knock in response to let me know which bunk you're on? If you're in here? Okay, that was really creepy. It literally felt like somebody was just standing right behind me. I literally felt as if somebody was breathing down my neck for a second there. Okay. That's creepy. I do have an idea though. Um, I think we're getting something in here. Go back in this cell and maybe use the uh, spirit talker. Um, yeah, let's do... There it is again. Okay, who is doing that? I felt the exact same thing. Dude, what the? Okay, let's try the uh, spirit talker in here. That was creepy. <laughs> uh, so like I said, every time we come here, we always end up getting something different. And uh, that was a little different. I've never felt that before, twice. Let me get this thing running. Loading. Okay, setup complete. We are scanning. If there's someone here with me, can you give me your name on this thing in my hand? We'd love to hear from you. Are you in this cell with me? Nothing yet. If you were an inmate here, can you tell me what you did to land yourself in this place? Little girl around you. What? Oh sh! <laughs> it literally said "little girl around you," which would be Petite Ruth. That's amazing. Can you tell me your name, little girl? I can't protect you. Oh, okay. I can't protect you. What are you protecting me from? Okay, I little. I'm. A, what the hell? So the cell has not been moving, and I swear I just saw it move about an inch and a half. What the hell? What the fuck was that? What the hell was that? Where did that even come from? I can't even put the camera up here, but like, what? Okay. What was making that tap? What, what made that tap sound? Okay, there's definitely something in here with me. 
I am definitely not alone. Can you tell me who made that tap? Irish. So you're you're Irish? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Oh, I think I just had some, yeah, I'm getting something on here. Let me actually turn this uh, light out for a second here. Let's see if we get anything on this. Can you make this thing go off? If you grab it from me, it'll light up. Maybe too close to the phone, I don't know. That's probably it. Now last time we were talking about standing in this doorway. Were you are you standing in the doorway? I'm trying to like reach in all the way. What the was not me. I did not hit anything. What the? Whoa. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Dude, I am telling you. Like, this place is wild. Who? Ask. Ask. I was about to ask. Who, who's in here? Can you give me your name? Move my phone away from the EMF and see if it goes off again. So you may periodically hear some other voices, but was that Jeff? That sounded a lot closer. Something about a door, it sounded like. Chilling in the big cell? Huh? Chilling in the big cell? Yeah. Had some weird noises going on around here. Twice it, it felt like somebody, as I was like coming in, it felt like uh, somebody was standing behind me, breathing down my neck. I'm a little doula here. So it was in this cell block that I was doing the event in the dark and I was yeah. locking people in, it was just a role play thing. Yeah. And there's nobody in the cell block. Camera, like you saw me. it? I saw it, but it wasn't on camera. So you see me ducking oh. from this invisible hand, oh, and Eric was following me around with the camera. Did you just put something up there? Yeah, I put one of those noisemakers. Noisemakers? Oh, the loud ass yeah. ones? Oh my god, that's gonna scare the. Me if that goes. <laughs> it is my favorite one, just as the loudest one. Yeah, of course, the one that everybody hates. <laughs> <laughs> mood. It said mood, yeah. The first thing that this said, you're not going to believe it, it said, little girl around you. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> she was three foot tall, little girl. Can you make that device go off above us? Or above me, rather? You want to maybe grab it and throw it across the room? <laughs> It's my favorite, don't do that. Okay, maybe don't do that. Just like move it slightly, just knock it over. <laughs> That'd be impressive that they went off. I rarely see them go off. Like yeah. Rarely. Yeah, on the last road trip, we had that thing go off uh, a lot of times, actually. It's pretty wild in certain places. Okay, well, maybe you don't want to talk anymore? You've moved on? Did Elliot scare you off? Oh, 100%. I'll look back away. It's like, honestly, <laughs> when I enter a space in this jail, you know, yeah. the patrons. They're just used like, to like, it. It stops. <laughs> like, we enter a space and everything stops. Yeah. So, I mean, that's exactly what it is. Okay, do you want Elliot to leave? He's going to leave. But you got to make that thing go off. Some. Some, it said. What is that? What is that supposed to mean? What do you mean by some?
Lady. Lady. Some lady. Is there a lady here? Are you looking for a lady? I need you to clarify. Us. Us. Some lady us. I don't know. I don't get it. Are you talking about Ruth? Or maybe the governor's wife? Here's something. Can't quite pick up on what it is or where it's coming from. It just said eliminate. What, what do you mean by that? You want to eliminate me? You want me to leave? Is that what you're trying to say? I'll leave. That's fine. If you want me gone, there's a thing on that bunk that will go off as I leave this cell. Make it go off for me. Can you do that? Whoa, my light just went out. Okay. Upset me. Oh my god. So my light goes out and it says upset me. What the f is that? What the f okay, that must be from upstairs. Why will this not. Guys, my battery is completely drained? There's no way. Oh, These are fully charged batteries. Ears. I'm so sorry guys. Different. Okay, okay, okay. Clearly you don't want me here, so... Oh my god. Oh. Music. Whew. That was loud as f oh, Music. Yeah, sure, now you start talking. So clearly you just don't want me here. <laughs> That's pretty obvious. Um, okay, uh, well thank you. I guess I'm gonna move along here. Oh my god, that was so loud. <sighs> Can you make it go off once more? Maybe if I leave the actual block? I'm telling you guys, that door is so creepy. Okay, well, thanks again. I'm gonna move on. Okay. So uh, Jeff is currently doing a live upstairs and he knows we're down here, but there's a secret entrance into death room. We're gonna try and scare the shit out of Jeff. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to leave these lights off.
stairs. Then you turn on the flashlight if you want me to go down the stairs. The children are listening. Who is listening? I am. <laughs> 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 got him. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> the children are listening. The children are listening. <laughs> what are you listening to? Is it Petite Ruth? Oh, she was just downstairs. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It said a little girl is around you when I was downstairs. Oh. How are you feeling up here, John? Feeling good. My uh, battery completely died for some reason downstairs. Your light yeah, the light battery on the camera. Wow. The thing went off. I was hearing weird noises and all sorts of cool. Sh My flashlight went on and off a couple of times. Mm -hmm. The music box. This. Oh, one this one. Off. Yeah. Your REM pod is going off. Oh, you got one in there. Oh, yeah. Was it not going off at all? No. Yeah, it was a yeah. little bit, but no. Thank you. Well, they like the REM pods up here, that's for yeah. sure. And your music box is on the ground right there, but nothing. Who is it you're talking to? 1800s. 1800s. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The prison was built in 1825. And I had video. I had two lights. Just that light was open. The flashlight just turned, uh, turned on at two lights. Mm. I had the word light. Died a long time ago. Did you hear that? And I have. I didn't. I didn't want to die. So was this the cell that the person was hanged, uh, or was this one? The rock was on this side. Oh, okay. I don't know what cell specifically that he was in, but I know he looked out that window when a scaffold was being built. Oh, oh, oh as we're talking about. That's um, La Rock. Is that you? Location, please. Move location, please. And it told me. Uh, uh, change area. Oh, oh really? Area. Yeah, it seems to do that. It's like it gives you the response, but it says it multiple times, mm -hmm. which makes it very accurate. Yeah. And um, we had homicide and murder on the other side, so. And I had move area, and now move location, please. Mm -hmm. So you want me to, to change location, right? Can you turn on the flashlight? I'm more impressed that. Saying Narcisse Lavarock in that thing and that rim pod just went off. Yeah. Like quite a bit. And you don't even have it on camera. Right? Narcisse Lavarock. Was that your cell? Did it just say payback? You came back? Oh, you came back. Yeah. I did. Are you talking to me? The rim pod? Yeah. Hmm. So that was your cell, right? Make that thing go off once more if that was your cell. Narcisse Lavarock. If it was your cell, can you touch that red light in the cell again? You know, Narcisse uh, kind of floats around that maybe you were innocent. That you didn't rape and murder the McGonagall sisters. Is that what he did? Jeez. It was a crime so brutal that they severed the hands of the little girls to put in formaldehyde to show the jury. Oh, to show wow. the extent of the, of the brutality of the crime. Good lord. Because their hands were like all... Messed up? They all messed up because they defended themselves. Mm, that makes sense. And their father actually ran up, up to Narcisse and pulled on his legs occurrence. when he dropped. Mm. Did you say occurrence? Occurrence. Narcisse, do you remember when the father grabbed your legs? Were you still alive at that time? And my EMF reader right there is being up and down now it it's stable at five six five six but mm -hmm. it was going up down up down now that mic is going you have the music box there on the floor yeah oh yeah it, it should be triggering as you're so close to that metallic post that usually the uh, the pir would bounce bounce off so it's interesting that it's not going off Wh which one the music box? Yeah, the music box it's facing that way though yeah it's a pir sensor so the metal would be reflecting that IR. Oh. Yeah. So I'm surprised it's not. Maybe it's just the right angle. That's mm -hmm. Yeah. But I tested it. I passed my yeah. my hand in front of it, and it went off. Yeah. So. So, merci, Slavok. 
You want us to move? Tell us where you want us to go. You're doing nothing now. Leo. Leo? Leo. Was so Leo your zodiac sign? Or was that somebody here? Or was it the name of somebody? Smallest cell ever. Well, if you don't talk anymore, we will move locations. Can you go for that red light in the cell again? On the bed? One last time. And we'll change places. We'll take a look at the other side. Excuse no. me. If you do it for Jeff, I'll, uh, I'll walk away. I'll leave. Do you want us to move to the other side? So this is technically all part of death row. Obviously they store a lot of their stuff in here. Um, this has a habit of moving periodically from time to time. Maybe you should bring the, or we should bring the other stuff in here. Yeah. Oh yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've used that before. It that could be uh, yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Like yeah that. Try that out. Doesn't activate a REM pod yeah. unless you really give it a hit. So he was, uh, yeah. Elliot was just putting that doll in there, and the uh, REM pod and started the going off. Uh, Maybe take up. take the the Raggedy Ann out for a second. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Nothing. No. Nothing. If if it's not a conduit to energy, no, yeah. or a source of energy, it can't trigger. A no, REM exactly. Pod. I mean, I wasn't recording it, but Jeff got that. Yeah, I got it. Do you like the Raggedy Ann? Oh, sorry, I have to say it in French. <laughs> what is it in French? Le Raggedy Ann? Yeah. <laughs> Does that sound about right? J'aime la poupée? Yeah, yeah j'aime la poupée? <laughs> the hell is that? Oh my god. Thank mm -hmm. you. Oh, you like all the toys. So you like all the toys that you have, right? Well, if you pass by. Hi, I'm Boo Buddy. What's your name? Have you seen a Boo Buddy, Jeff? Yeah. You my name is. My name's Angela. What's your name? So Boo Buddy has three sensors on it. So for those viewing, the first one is temperature. So it senses a cold spot or a hot spot. Boo Buddy will say, ooh, it's getting cold in here, or ah, it's getting hot in here, or did you make it hot in here? Mm -hmm. um, if it picks up on EMF, you're going to see the paws glow red. Now, if something actually touches the bear, and you have to physically touch the bear, it will say, oh, that tickles, or ah, I like holding hands with you, or ah, I like hugs, mm -hmm. to tell you that it's Count been physically me. moved. One, two, ooh. three. something going off even when uh jeff first put the emf in there the one yeah. on the right that was going off yeah what about elmo you like elmo Do you have your uh, spirit talker as well? Somewhere? Maybe we could use that. Oh. Thank you. I'm gonna put a box right here. You can use it to. Can you make a noise for me? Is it just me or does the thing look like it's moving a little bit more? Cradle? Yeah. yeah. 
Was that you moving that? You do it again? Maybe a little harder, just give it a nice big push. We also have this cool thing here that you can use to... Can you touch my tummy? What the heck was that? That was my music box, my where, tablet. Where is it? It's right there. Oh. Did you make it warm in here? Oh. It is pretty warm in here all of a sudden. Yeah. You're affecting the temperature. Oh. So the last two cells... You've got to be careful. Okay. Again? That's like a warning. I know you told me that on the other side I have to be careful. And I told you that I'm protected. My friend Chelsea did a protection oil for me. This is where William LaRoche spent his last days. Do you have a favorite song? You saw that, right? Yeah. It just started moving again. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Can you give a good It had completely push? stopped. Yeah. Can you give a good push to the to the cradle, to the bassinet? There it is. Yeah. Yeah, look, it's moving a little more now. Yeah. Ooh. Now it suddenly feels colder. Anybody else feeling that? A little bit. Right on my on my right side. I'm Which feeling. is weird because I feel it on my you left side. So whatever it is, it's like You're right in between, between us. us. Oh boy. <laughs> is that you standing in between us? Are you standing between me and my friend Angelo? There's literally no reason why that thing should be moving. No, it's not. Is it just my eyes or is it rocking like a half inch? Like it, it is, yeah. It like is. It, it looks like it went to one side and it's just staying there, right? Yeah. Is that what you mean? It just looks like it's like moving consistently. You it be it is. Man? It literally is. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh, you're wow. just as astonished as we are. Yeah. That's cool. But it would be more wow if you could give a good push that's me, yeah. to the cradle. Give it a good push. That's going to be a good wow. Look at it. Yeah. Every time we ask, it starts moving again. Put all your energy. Take energies from our batteries, from the batteries, from the equipment, and push on it. Do you want to hold my hand? Sure. Oh. Thank you. We should try to find out who it is you're talking to. Who are we speaking with? Maybe you can respond on this thing that I'm pointing at. Want to play a game? Can you touch the devices? Anyone, any device. Why don't you touch the little bear with the little green light? Probably never seen one of those back in the day, have you? And talking bears too. You don't want to know. <laughs> I'm very old. <laughs> no, go away. No, go away. Why do you want us to go away? We just want to communicate. We just want to talk. My camera is focusing on a person that's standing at about three feet tall, right in front of the bassinet. If you want to... I don't know if you want to record that, Jeff, but oh, shit, it just went away. It was literally right there. Yeah. Petite Ruth. Is that you? It was focusing on a person that was like standing right there. Like right there. Roughly. 
I'm always conflicted whether it is Petite Ruth who likes this bassinet and pushes it. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Is that what that was? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. It's cold in here. It is. It's oh, yeah. suddenly right like here. it's suddenly getting really yeah. cold in here. Right out of nowhere. there, it's cold. Yeah. It's up on heat and now it's cold. Yeah. So if you're right here on my left, can you go and touch that light right there? Can you knock it over? Yeah. Oh, there it is again. It's focusing again. Oh. Right. As soon as that rem pod. As soon as the rem pod yeah, went off. Yeah, my camera is focusing on a person. Um, how about I tell you a little joke? Why did the chicken cross the road? Do you know? To get to Corn. the other side. Well, that's one answer, but the other answer is... Uh, port. To get to the port? To get to the port? <laughs> no, I mean, the real answer is... Because... <laughs> <laughs> Bad the joke. The road. Okay, this is, it's definitely, it. my camera definitely is picking something up. Because it keeps focusing on the exact same spot. So even if I, if I turn oh, away, yeah, yeah, I it. it would have to reset and focus yeah. on you. And then every time I turn back, it literally focuses on the exact same spot. There's 100% There's something there. Right there. Because there's nothing else that it could possibly mistake as a person. That doesn't make any sense. Like, it's not even picking up on the Raggedy Ann as a person. It just thinks, like, Elmo's, bit, like, Elmo's my, butt or something is, is a person somehow. My camera what my camera was doing in Hinsdale, just focusing on that mm -hmm. single creepy doll. Yeah. I found a new picture that they had on the wall of Petite Ruth. Oh, yeah? Side profile. I've never oh, wow. seen her side profile before. That's wild. See the arms? Yeah. Oh, wow. Damn, it's amazing that they've like recovered these photos from somewhere. Oh, oh Petite, oh. are you seeing your picture? We have your picture here. That was me. Oh, that wasn't you. No, I think I think it, I think it was. No, it was his ass. Yeah, <laughs> I had uh, just <laughs> ass in the center. Oh, yeah. but that wasn't you. <laughs> no, that wasn't That's me. That's amazing though that I pulled up Petite's yeah. photograph. Thank you, Petite. Show it again. Wow, thank you. Do you want to see your photo again, Hello. Ruth? Hello. You want to see your photo again? You see your mother and father in the picture as well? It's mommy and daddy. Look at the gate too. Yeah. Is it going? Yeah. Oh, shit. look at that. Yeah, you're in the REM pod. Hello, yeah. Petit yeah. True. Buzzing. She's buzzing? Buzzing, yes. Yeah. It makes us a buzzing sound. Yeah, it's, sound. it is buzzing. Do you find fun? Do you find it's it amusing? Pretty amazing, yeah. Well, the government wants us to think it's five, but really it's four. Do you want to touch the RAM pod to show us how two plus two is? No? Put the picture away. And, uh, Can you finish right? Yeah. Yeah. And then it. <laughs> Petite Ruth, if it, if it was you, thank you so much. That was really nice. Did you like the music on the box? Bob. Angelo booty this time. Bob. Yeah, that was my booty this time. That's you oh, watch the camera. You think so? You. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Okay, well, I'm going to take the Raggedy Ann for myself now, if you don't mind. Thank you. Are you upset because Angelo took the Raggedy Ann? Do you want her back? You can have her back. You just got to make that thing, make this thing go off. Just stand right in front of it. Can you stand in front of that music box? Can you tell me a secret? Can you come and pass right here? Like that? And make that pretty music go? Do you want her back? Do you want the Raggedy Ann doll back?
Can you go and touch that box again? What? Did you say something? Can you please say it again? Does that mean anything? No, it's just random questions. Uh -huh. It has to be temperature or uh, touching. Oh, well, that's funny. My camera's focusing on something again in the exact same spot. Exact place. Yeah. Laugh. Laugh. Somebody laughing? The deep root. Is that you laughing? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Can you tell us the names of your brothers and sisters? Was she in, she didn't have any brothers or sisters, right? Had a brother. Oh, she had a brother. He's uh he was in the picture as a baby. Oh, okay. Can you tell us the name of your brother? I think it was uh, Romain. Romain, yeah. Romain, yeah. What's your brother <laughs> named Romain? That tickles. So here's her brother right there. That's a baby. <clears throat> Look, Petit Groot. It's you with your baby brother. Look. Oh, yeah, okay. He's a beautiful you baby. K2 went off. You just said you heard me. Oh. We heard uh, something. I think that the, was the, the cradle thing is over going there, though. More. That's because I put the thing in there. Yeah, but it wasn't going like that when you. Do you have more friends we can play with? What's that ring? I don't know. I was about to ask you what that is ring is. Is there a device in there? Did he leave it on downstairs? Oh, oh the yeah. Right there, uh, my That's the... My EDI Plus is right here. No, that was... That was your loud one. I left it in the cell where you put yeah, it. That, it so just went away. off. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. yeah. Which is... Oh, that's funny. That thing said ringing, too. And it's ringing downstairs. It's ringing downstairs. Yeah. yeah. He has one of his... He has his loud REM pod in the the cell downstairs. Yeah. 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 There's one on downstairs. That's probably what that was. Hmm. That's where uh, Angelo got a breath behind him. Oh. It said board. Like Wait. board game. Ah. Do you want to play a board game? What kind of board game do you want to play? Mmm, I like cookies. What's your favorite food? Is that it again? I don't hear it from here, no. I heard something. I heard a ringing. The same type of ringing? Yeah. Unless I'm going crazy. I don't know. It's possible. Well, I can always go down to investigate. Leave that stuff around yeah. to the people on the live. Yeah, yeah, let's go see what's going on down there. You guys, did you see something? Oh, it's a ramp pod. Oh. Yeah, it's the going off? It always goes yeah. off when you leave. Yeah, of course. It's going off. What did the bear say? I didn't hurt. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see what the hell's ringing downstairs, because now I really want to know. <laughs> Spooky. That sounds like this wicked one. Right? <laughs> portable sun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like the one that was in here that went off when I went in there at some point. It scared the crap out of me. It's like right up there. So maybe it being in here was muffled enough. Um, maybe. All the doors being closed yeah. in the stairwell. Can you touch that device on the bed, please? Just to show us that you're here with us. If you want us to come downstairs, can you touch that box? Okay, we're gonna leave again. If you don't make it go off. I'm okay. gonna go back upstairs. Gotta change my battery. So we took a little bit of a break, came back, and uh, this thing was still running. Interestingly enough, the word that just came up now was photograph, 
Wow, there's the uh, whole list. Pretty interesting. We are about to do the uh, Estes method, and uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for me, apart from maybe a live stream for like 30, 40 minutes, and uh, good to go. Okay guys, we're gonna get the Estes method started here. Um, Jeff is going first. He's gonna be inside the cell, and uh, yeah, I'll just repeat the answers for you guys so you know what he says as well, but you'll probably hear them anyways regardless, so let's get this uh, started. <clears throat> Speak. Speak. So we're leaving everything running in the meanwhile. Mmm, I like cookies. What's your favorite food? Is there anyone here with us? Anybody wish to communicate? What color is the light in my tummy? Green. <laughs> Do you like... Is, is Ruth here with us? Are there any inmates here? Where? Where? What, what do you mean, where? Count with me. One, two, three, four. Tonight. Is there somebody in one of these cells apart from my friend Jeff? Were you a prisoner here? Walker? That's weird because he said you know your alphabet? twice. A, B, C, D. Who's Walker? Do you want to tell me your story? Hurry? Well, why do we need to hurry? Cod. Cod? You? You. You did? Can you make a noise for me? I did what? Are you speaking to another? Did you? Did I what? Can you give us a clear answer? Can you touch my tummy? Is there anything evil here? There's nothing much, that, not that much coming through. What was that? Something in the hallway. Again, was there anything evil here? Or is there anything? I did. Evil? Do you have a favorite song? For you. Is there anybody with us Edge. who was hanging was it? here? Who was it? You remember? What do you remember? Ruth, do you want to see the picture again? Of you and your little brother? Is Why? it? 
It is. It's a picture of you. Did you see it? When Elliot comes you back, you want us to show you the picture again? Something, hurry. Hurry, I don't know what the deal is with the hurry. Do you want us to leave? Hiding. Hiding. I feel like that's probably related to Ruth. Are you hiding? Why are you hiding? Do you want to hold my hand? Can you tell me what color my friend's hat is? Perfect. Thanks for making it warmer. Whoa, that's creepy. Apparently it just got warmer in here. I heard I do. The voices are very faint, very far. Voices are very faint, very far. Can you come a little closer? What the heck was that? Oh, I think uh, Jeff's light is sitting on the table and it just flashed. Can you come closer to us and speak louder? Can you tell us what you did to end up in here? Do you not want to speak to Jeff? How old are you? Do you want to speak to me instead? It's us. It's us. <coughs> There's nothing. Nothing at all. You don't want to say anything? Is it because you're all high? Radio? literally just pulled this chair back. Okay, I think Elliot's coming up. What the hell was that though? Isaac. I just heard something in that in that room over there. Wouldn't be me. I no, I I know. <laughs> I kind of figured. Do you want the picture? Sure. Let's try it out. Do you want the picture, Ruth? Also, something just pulled this chair like ten seconds ago. People. Wow. Like I felt it like quickly go from closer. <laughs> okay. Ready. Ready. They're ready. She's ready to see the picture. Is that what you want? You want to see your picture again? Oh, the EMF meter is going off. What's your favorite toy? Whoa. Look! Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. pulling up the picture. Yeah. Lies. That's really interesting. Like. <laughs> but T. Ruth, you want to see your family? Couldn't make it. Couldn't make it? I assume you means couldn't make it out. Okay, we're showing you the picture again. Now can you talk to us a little bit more? Do you miss your family, Ruth, we or are? are they still here? We are. What's your favorite story? Oh, and the K2's flying Yeah, too. I know. That actually went off first before the REM pod even went off. I could see it from that.
Were you friends with any of the inmates in here? Did you used to talk to them? How's that? The hell was that? I think that might have been his music box thing, which is behind my camera. What's your favorite color? And that happened radio last time we again? up the thing too, right? Yeah. What did you say? Something about the radio? Yeah, it's like the second time you said that. Do you want to say something on the radio to Jeff? Maybe something specific about your picture? Since you seem to really like the picture. Jeff says you don't have here. Yeah, that's true. Did you come here? Come here. Did you make a lot of friends in here? Can you tell me something me? Something me? Ruth, are you trying to get us over to your bedrooms? To your house? I'm gonna put your family picture away now. So you do want us to come over there? Make it go to yellow if you want us to come there. Every time I lay, I want to touch the picture again. That's you. You. Okay. Is that when I touch the picture? Rich. Yeah. Rich. Do you want to talk to me instead? Let me out. Let you out of where? Where are you exactly? Shall I make noise? Yes, please. In heaven? Let me out in heaven? Are you trapped here? Do you want to go to heaven? You know you can leave at any time. You don't have to stay here if you're stuck. Outside? Huh. You want to go outside? Is that what you want to do? Maybe the shadow man wants you out there. Oh boy. <laughs> Is it the shadow man? Is he calling us outside? Let me out again. Is the shadow man an evil entity? Out. Crime. Just out. Crime? That's pretty accurate. Do you have more friends we can play with? I'm ready. Ready for what? A lot. I'm ready for a lot? Ooh, ah. Sleepy. Okay, well... Seems like the picture's away and the REM pod stopped. Yeah. Do you like to play pretend? Ooh, always. <laughs> There's barely stuff coming yeah. in. Some of it was relatively accurate. So Elliot came up and he started um, holding out the picture. The REM pods are going crazy. Oh, major. Yeah. And then then the uh, the replies were actually a little bit more accurate. accurate yeah. Okay, my turn. I guess maybe I'll probably sit here. Oh, you gotta sit there. Yeah, sure. Okay.
Oh yeah, something pulled this chair out while you were in you there. You see us. Like I felt it like suddenly jerk back oh, really yeah. quick. And it doesn't feel like this rolls very well, so... Something just touched the bear. Did yeah. it? Nobody touched the cradle. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, which one's right? So when the bear says, when, when it laughs and says somebody's ticklish, mm -hmm. It means that something is moving the bear. Oh, the thing I can do is this one. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Count with me. One, two, three, four. So. What was that? Well, that was me. I probably the. That was your music box? Yeah. The ground when I. Is it Thank you. You're welcome. Who are we talking to? Me. Who is you? Is it Petite Ruth? I protect this place. You've been standing there this whole time. Yeah. Yeah, that was really weird. For some reason, with my eyes closed, I thought somebody was going back oh, yeah. and forth right in front of me. Can you put that, please, on you? Sure. Empty. Empty? What is empty? Is it the cell that is empty because I got out? I. Yes, you. Can you make Dare? a noise? Disagree. Disagree. Flashlight's acting all weird. Keeps kind of turning on and off. Can you turn on the flashlight? It's really weird. I hear like this beeping and it's consistent and it, it almost sounds like a heart rate monitor. It's really weird. Oh. Are you connected to heart monitor? Leave. Next. Mm, yes, we will leave after. And all the offenders move away from Angelo and let Petite Ruth go up to him? Petite Ruth, Petite Ruth, can you go to my friend Angelo and talk to him? Can you tell him that you're here? I can hear someone humming and it's only on my you're left. You're misinterpreting yeah. me. So Petite Ruth hums that and girl. talking about it. Do yeah, that girl. Song? So on the live they were talking about a humming they're hearing up here. Oh yeah? And Petite Ruth is known to hum and that's how she's experienced here and we've got it on audio. So it's very interesting that we're telling Petite Ruth to go up to Angelo and he's saying he's hearing humming in one ear. Yeah. Petite Ruth. Gertrude. Petite Ruth, can you sing to Angelo? Mine. Flashlight's going again. Yours what? Do you know what time it is? Is it time to talk with my friend? Petite Ruth, is it you? If it's you, can you turn off the flashlight? All the way. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Can you go talk to mine? My yeah. Can you talk to my friend Angelo? Can you say hello? Ruth, can you, you tell Angelo friend? something that you enjoy to do in life? Did I scare you? No. That chime is still going and it's driving me crazy. Wow. <coughs> is it you that he's playing music in? Angelo's ears? One more thing. What thing? One more co question? Do you want to hold my hand? Ruth, can you tickle the teddy bear? Can you give the teddy bear a hug? Girl. 
Yeah. Remember me? Yes, Ruth. Hello, Ruth. We remember you. Can you tickle the bear? Anyone. Not anyone, Ruth. I kind of want you to tickle the bear. Yeah. Give the bear a hug. These dolls here are for you. We bring them here for you so you can play with Do them. Do you want to play a game? You ran. Who ran? Not me. I know that my friend... Dead. Is. You're dead? Yes. And we're sorry. Would you like me to visit your grave one day? Buried alive. I would. How old are you? I would really doubt if you were buried alive. What's your name if you were buried alive? I mean, it's something that's probable. It could happen. You're unconscious from strangulation. They tried. Can you tell us your name if you... They tried to hang you. And you were buried alive. Yes, over that here. What you're saying? Well, that's it? Yeah, yes, over here. Who are we talking to? Can you tell us your name, please? Is this Frederick Mann? I like music. What music Look. do you like? Look where? Give where? me a direction. Tell us where. Where do you want us to look? Where do you want us to look? Impound or impossible or something like that. Devil? Ugh. Are you are you think thinking that we are devils because I like good stories. the way Please that we, we're dressed and the tools that you, you were using? It's just that we are living in another time. Beautiful. What is beautiful? Come here. Big. Flashlight turned on. What's your favorite toy? Grandpa. Can you tell my friend Angelo what is? Hurts. Can you get very close to Angelo and touch him on a part of his body? It was like a little girl crying. Don't you guys scare Ruth away? Don't scare Ruth. Can you go and touch Angelo? Touch his hand or his shoulder. Touch his hair. Let us know that you're really here. I hear a little girl in the background. The tea roof get closer to Angelo. Don't be afraid of him. He is really nice. Don't let anyone push you out. What's your favorite color? Go and sing pretty songs into Angelo's ears. You. Who, me? Ginger. Hmm. Did you know somebody that was Ginger? Was a member of your family Ginger? We are still here. Yes, and go talk to my friend Angelo. Go speak into his ears. Hallway. You're in the hallway? Yeah, I'm standing beside the hallway and I'm, I'm hearing voices. Vacant. Hmm. Cell. Are you in the cell? Adam?
Can Where, talk? Where's Jeff going? Can you finish me? Oh. F her? Can you come and talk into the device I have right here? Can you hear me? Yeah, yes. We, we, we all heard her. Who is it you're calling the fucker? Are you calling me a fucker? Or is it Jeff because he walked away in the hall? Who are you calling names? It's not nice to curse, especially around Petite Ruth. Got you. Got who? Me? I went to check, but nobody wanted to talk. I can hear a woman speaking, but I can't make it out. It's too muffled. Petite Ruth, is that you? Don't be afraid. It should be Ann Did you say something? Can you please say it again? The knife. Tear. Tear. Go away. Are we you? No. We're gonna go away. We're gonna go, we're gonna be finished. Are you sad? And the word tear. I will. You will go? Well, go and leave the place to Petite Ruth. We want to speak with her. Anne, are you here with us? You want. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Is it you, Anne? And was it you that played with that music? That played beautiful music? Can you go and touch it again, please? And why don't you go up to Angelo and speak to him? Is driving me crazy. Oh, yeah. Why are you oh, here? Why are you here? <laughs> Why are you here? Because we want to investigate. We want to know if there is life after death. And uh, how were the responses? Yeah, some good ones. Yeah, it. it's like yeah, Petite Ruth wanted to come through, but there were like others that were keeping her. Yeah. Of talking. Yeah, it was like there was a, a few times there was an older woman and then there was one that was like obviously a child. It sounded childlike anyways. And but the they were both like very you. hard to hear. What's your favorite thing? And the older woman could be Anne? Are, are you able to kind of mimic the humming you heard? The humming that I heard? Yeah. You were humming? You said you are hearing humming on one side. Yeah, it was weird. It was only coming through on one side, but it was like... I don't know, kind of hard to make out over all the noise, but I know I heard humming for sure. But was it like a male humming or female humming? I, was, I think it was female, yeah. Petite Ruth, was it you that was humming into Angela's ears? Flashlight's going to go. Okay, Rambod. Does the humming, the humming turn around? Is right the humming there. like a common thing? or? Petite. So on the live, they were saying that they've been hearing humming up here when no one was here. Oh, yeah? Oh, okay. Ruth is known for okay. her humming here as one of the anomalies. Ah, okay. And I have a really good audio clip of it where yeah. she's like humming a song. Mm. Um, so it's a very common experience here yeah. is the humming. But I've never I would say it wasn't, it. it wasn't like really high, but kind of like in the middle. Yeah. Like a medium kind of tone. Yeah, it wasn't like super, super high pitched like okay. when I captured it. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Well, that sounds about right to me then. One. All right guys, so uh, I am pooped and I also have a very very long almost six hour drive to get back home um, And then we're also filming the podcast tomorrow as well 
So yeah, big shout out to uh, Elliot for inviting us out here. Um, so definitely go and follow Phantoms of Yore. I'm going to leave everybody's dis uh, link in the description below. I was going to say I'm going to leave everybody's description in the link below, but that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um, yeah, go and follow Jeff at Exploring Harley. And uh, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye-bye.